All right, so I'm back in 3D Studio Max, and I want to assign V-Ray materials to my model. Uh, the first thing I have to do is make sure that V-Ray is my rendering engine. Uh, and to do that, I have to go up to Rendering, uh, and then Render Setup. You can also click this tea kettle with uh, the little menu next to it. That's the same thing. And at the bottom of the Common tab, there's lots of tabs with lots of options, but at the bottom of the Common tab, is where you set your renderer. We're going to assign a renderer, and right now we're at the default scan line, and I'm going to be using V-Ray. This is 2.30. Um, again, now we have a whole bunch of V-Ray options that we really don't need to get into. Uh, it's just going to allow us to use V-Ray materials. Uh, so to get materials, we can go Renderer Material Editor. Uh, you have two choices, the Compact Material Editor or the Slate Material Editor. Now the Slate Material Editor I like best. It's, some, uh, it's familiar in some ways to Grasshopper for Rhino. Uh, you can also just hit the letter M on your keyboard and that'll bring up the Material Editor. So what we have is kind of the workspace where we get to plug in different pieces and a list of material types over here. Uh, so if I right click, I can add a material, a V-Ray material, and I just want a standard V-Ray material. Um, but I'm actually going to load up a custom material that I downloaded from vraymaterials.de. So open material library. I got that by clicking this down arrow. Open material library. Um, I'm going to go to the desktop and then to that new folder, my materials. And I downloaded that's a, a black metallic car paint, thinking that might be good for our black shiny metal. You can see there's different kind of color ranges within that. I'm just going to take just, just the black one. Um, and so when we look at this, uh, it's a specific V-Ray material. It's not that default one. So when I right click here and I go materials, V-Ray materials, uh, this one isn't here. This isn't the standard material. Um, this is actually a, a combined material that's going to give you know better characteristics. These two are standard materials and the only things being plugged into them are these controllers with the reflection fall off. So you can see if I double click on any one of these things, all of its properties open here on the right. So this is the the black base and this is uh, candy silver. So that's the stripe, the, the glossiness of it all. And those both feed into this material uh, which shows you your base and your shellac material. Uh, so I'm gonna right click this guy and say open preview window and you can see that's kind of just a, a coarse preview of the model. Um, but I need to need to apply it to the correct objects in my scene, which is why I spent the time uh, naming them. So here I'm going to go back up to the select by name and I can type black s uh, black I keep mistyping it black underscore s and now only those objects are selected, so I click OK. I can now right click that material and say assign to selection. And now you can see they've, they've all turned black. Um, I think with this generic material we're going to be pretty safe. Uh, you can see that sometimes you'll, you'll see like you know, weird textures and you may have to come in and actually apply a texture map, which I'm going to do just to these two bells for right now. So I'm going to close my material editor. Uh, it's hard to tell that, you know, because we're actually just looking at a black object. So I'm going to switch over to a wireframe. So you can see I have this guy, and while holding control, I click the next one. Uh, and I have those two objects selected, and I need to come over and apply a UV map to them. Uh, here we have kind of the Create tab. Next to it is the Modify. So by clicking Modify, I have those two objects selected. I have a whole list of modifiers, but I want to come down to the bottom and use a UVW map. Uh, you can see right now the map is this rectangular projection, which I know I don't want. Uh, I'm going to want a spherical projection, which will get the material wrapped around the way I want it. Again, here I can control the, the size of that sphere. Uh, and the number of divisions within it that would repeat the material. I think right now we'll be fine with just that. So I'm going to switch back over to just the shaded. Um, and I need to apply a bronze material, a silver material, and a glass material. Uh, so let's do the glass first. Again, I'm going to hit M to open my material editor. Uh, use the down arrow and open material library. 
Uh, and this time I have to go to my glass selections, which I've collected a lot of V-Ray materials. It's on my favorites here. Uh, and I have a subfolder for glass, and I have a number of glasses. Uh, and I'm going to look for, let's see, um, optical glass. That sounds pretty good. So open up optical glass, and I'm going to move and drag and, oop, went too far. So I'm going to drag and drop optical glass here. And you can see, again, it's this long chain of kind of color gradients that just go into the reflection map. And if I right click and open a preview of this, we can see there's the material. I can double click here and see, you know, kind of all its reflection properties, which we're not really going to get into. Uh, then I can just click my glass. This is the easy way. And I can right click and assign to selection, which is, you know, pretty simple. Or I can even drag this cable right onto it. And now it's turned invisible because it's glass, which is fine by me. The next one I want to do is kind of an aluminum. So again, file, open. Uh, I'm going to go to my V-Ray materials, metal, um, aluminum spray paint. That doesn't sound good. High quality brushed aluminum. That sounds fantastic. So I'm going to drag and drop my aluminum material here. And this one's a little more complicated because this is actually a, a, just a default V-Ray material. But I have three different bitmaps feeding into it. One for the bump, one for the reflection, and one for the highlight. So just like I could select this material and look at its properties, I can also select its inputs. And what we're looking at here is where the bitmap that controls that information lives. This is set up on someone else's machine. And so although I've downloaded their material, I don't have the bitmap in the same directory, so I need to click here and refind that material. So again, I'm going to go to my design software and then V-Ray materials, uh, V-Ray materials, V-Ray materials, that DE, metal, uh, high quality brushed aluminum, and this one I'm looking for the NRM, that's the normal, that's this blue one here. If I come to this next one, I want the specular, which is this one, and this one also the specular. I'm going to set that one again. So now the aluminum, if I preview it, has you know a nice brush texture. So here I'm going to go back back up to my select by name, uh, and this is going to be silver, is what I named all those objects. I'm going to right click and assign to the selection. You can see they turn black here. Sometimes that's because we're not telling the material to preview properly. So if I right click my material, I can tell it to be show the material in a shaded viewport uh, or show the material in a realistic viewport. I can tell them to actually do both. And so now you can see uh, the material's rendering out. It just took a second and I have that, that kind of glossiness to it, which I'd expect to see. If I switch over to a realistic view, um, it's going to try to do like a little ray trace, and there's the, the mapping, which looks really good. I'm actually happy to see the map like that, uh, and there, now it finally rendered. Um, as I add more and more materials, it could kind of start to get bogged down if I have a realistic mode on, but I think I'll be fine for now. Uh, so the last thing I want to do is add kind of a bronzy material. So let's go file, open material, again V-Ray materials, metal. Um, let's see if I can find one. I don't know that I have one set up already. It's been a while since I've used something like that. Um, gold. Gold will work for me. So I'll take the gold, um, drag and drop it onto my workspace. And again, this is another shellacked material. Um, it shouldn't be anything I have to do. So here, I'm going to go to my select by name, type bronze, select all those, right click, and assign to the selection. Uh, and again, let's make sure that this one, yeah, this is this one doesn't have the ability for us to say to show in realistic mode. Uh, but I think I've got all four types of my materials done. So the next thing I want to do is set up a V-Ray camera and a backdrop and some lights, and we'll do that in the next tutorial.